This tutorial will show you how to use the coding app Hopscotch for iPad. We'll start by opening up the app. Now you need to sign up or sign in before you can get to this screen. Once you've done that, you'll see what you see on my screen. Now to begin, we'll tap on the light bulb on the bottom. Now you'll be presented with a bunch of different tutorials that will show you how to use the Hopscotch app. We'll start with the first one, Build Your World. Now you'll notice in the bottom right there is some circular lines, blue lines, that are surrounding the area where you're supposed to tap. This will help guide you through um, these tutorials. So we'll tap on it. Now it gives you a bunch of information here that we don't need to really go through. So I'm just tapping through each one of these to get to the editor. Here we are. All right, so we'll tap on the plus button. Then we're going to bring these shapes onto the screen. We're going to go a step further put them in the outlines there, tap the check mark, and we're done with tutorial number one. Let's take a look at tutorial number two to get an idea uh, what it's like. Each tutorial will get increasingly difficult um, as you learn the program uh, deeper and deeper. All right, we'll tap to start, tap the play button, pencil button, we're going to tap on that black area. Now we're going to add a code to it. So there's some instructions on the top. What we're going to do here is tap on Game Starts. We're going to set a color. We're going to choose Brown. And then we're going to tap on the X in the top left corner. Now we're going to do something similar for the top of the house. Tap on Game Starts. Then we're going to tap on the T with the color palette at the bottom. Set colors. Choose Blue. Now play in the top right corner, we'll tap on. Now we'll tap on the check mark. There we go, we've completed the second tutorial. Once you've completed all, the all of the tutorials, you're going to have a good idea how to use Hopscotch. At that point, I challenge you to tap on the plus button on the bottom to begin your own blank project. Tap on blank project and you'll be given uh, a canvas here. To show you how this works, I'll tap on the plus button here. We'll choose one of the characters the monkey. We'll bring him over to the side. We're going to add a code here, something simple. When the game starts, I am going to have the monkey move forward for the predetermined amount of uh, 300 uh, pixels or whatever it may be. Now I'll tap on the check mark on the right side of the screen and now play. And as you can see, the monkey moved. 